I hate to put you on the spot and you feel free to say no, truly, Jason. Do you have a guitar handy? And can you just strum a little bit and just hum something as in, in the context of you, how you would write a song? Just, just get, can you demonstrate sure. this? So I would start by... To me, that sounds a little mm. bit like the band, like Levon Helm, Robbie Robertson. That sounds like the night they drove old Dixie down, which conveniently, conveniently that song has been canceled because it's about uh, the Confederacy. So what we should do now, if I were writing a song, would be write something to replace the night that drove old Dixie down. Mm. Um, so now I have kind of a subject matter. So I would be like, well, let's write something about that war that's not celebrating the Confederacy. This is just what I would do right now. I'd make it kind of sound like the night they drove old Dixie down. Um, so that's the exercise, is to like write a, write a replacement for that. Not that I would ever do that, but... And here we're changing the melody a little bit later than we change the chord, because that's how we're creating tension and release. So like if you're if you're walking down from the C major to the relative minor and you're singing like a five da, 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 da. now if I if I took the melody down at the same time as the chord change da, 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 it becomes piano man. That's not what you want, you know? You want something that makes it more tense, you know? So the part of that that sticks out to me is the da na na. So that's the part I would probably write first. I would say that's the part that's going to stick. So what are those words going to be? And then I would record that so I didn't forget it. And I would work on da na na three syllables, you know, short word, long word, or three short words. Because if you do long word, short word, it's going to sing in a different way than it speaks, and you're cheating, you know. And people can hear that when you're when you're mm -hmm. cheating. So I would go short word, long word, and then I would start looking for a short word and a long word that had something to do with the reality of the story that was uh, romanticized in the beautiful song, The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down by the Band. 